Shalom and welcome to Hebrew with Mine. This week's Torah portion is Bo. Bo means come. And it's found in Exodus chapter 10, verse 1 through 13, 16. Let's read it in English together. Exodus 10, 1. The Lord said to Moses, Come to Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the heart of his servants, in order that I may place these signs of mine in his midst. Okay, so this is the first word right here. This is a va with a patak that says va. This is a yud, and this is an aleph with a cholem, which says o. So this is yo, va, yo, and this is a mem with a segol, so this, and then a resh um, closes out this syllable. So this is mer, va, yo, mer, va, yo, mer. And this is the trope mark right here. It's a mapach. And it tells us that the accent is on this second syllable right here. Vayomer, vayomer. And this means, and he said, okay? And he said, vayomer. And this is yod vav the sacred name. We don't pronounce it, um, but we do say Adonai, which means uh, the Lord. Here we're so here. I have Hashem, which means the name. It's literally Hashem. Literally means the name, and it's referring to the sacred name, the Tetragrammaton. Okay, and then we have an Aleph here with a segel, which says E, eh, and then a Lamed, which and so together this says L. L means two, and this is a Mem, and this is a Shin, but this dot right here does double duty it's it's the it tells us that this is a shin but it also is the vowel for the mem which says oh just like this right here okay so this is mo mo and this is a shin with a segel again so it says e eh, and this hey is silent she mo she this is the trope mark or the accent mark this katon so this is mo she the accent is on the last syllable and Moshe is, of course, Moses in Hebrew. So, Vayomer Adonai El Moshe. Now, this is a mapach, as I said before. This says, this is a tune. It gives the tune as well as the accent mark. This says in um, a very common uh, nusach, a very common tradition, um, which is Ashkenazi, I believe Lithu Lithuanian. This says, Ma Pach. So this is, Vayomer. Okay, so this trope mark says, Ma Pach. And with the Hebrew, you would say the Hebrew word with the tone. So it's, Vayomer. Okay, and this is Pashta, which says, Pashta. And so if we're going to say, Adonai, Adonai with the tune of, Pashta says Adonai. Okay, so this is Vayomer Adonai. Okay, so and said Hashem and the Lord said, and this is this cut. This is a katon and it says katon. So with El Moshe it says El Moshe. Okay, so let's do the whole thing. Vayomer Adonai El Moshe. Okay, good. Next part of the verse. This says this is a bet, and this is a an aleph with a cholem. So this says O. Oh. So Bo, Bo literally means come. Often this this verse is translated as go, go to Pharaoh, but it literally means come. So Hashem was there with Pharaoh working in the midst of Egypt, working on behalf of Israel, working on Pharaoh's heart even. Then we have the L again, it's the same as what we had in the previous word, L. Okay, so Bo L means two. This is a Pe with a Patak, this says Pa, and this is a Resh. This Shiva is going to be silent, the Shiva is often silent in the middle of a word. So together it says Par, the syllable says Par. And this is an ein with a cholem, and this hay is silent, so this is o, par o. Okay, so the cholem is a little bit different from the English o. With the, with the English o, 
we have kind of like a W at the end, O, with the Hebrew cholam, we just say O. We don't say O, we say O, so par O. Okay, another thing to know is this um, ayin is going to, it's supposed to be guttural, it's supposed to be kind of like a Klingonish sound, like O, oh. but um, if you don't do that, at least do a glottal stop, at least do par O. Don't say paro. The resh is not part of the syllable. It's par and then o. Par o. Okay? That would be a better um, pronunciation. Bo el par o. Now, this truck mark, this is the truck mark right here. It's it's called tipra. Okay? Tipra. So, bo with tipra says. Bo, okay, and then this is the next trump mark. It's called etnachta, okay. So el par o with etnachta says el par o, okay, el par o. So together, tipra etnachta. Bo el par o. Okay, now you can always pause the videos and um, rewind them if you want to keep practicing, but we're going to go on. Okay, this is come to Pharaoh par o. It's Pharaoh. Okay, and I just added a, an interesting note that I got from Rabbi Nachman's um, commentary to the Torah. He says the name par o, Pharaoh, is similar to. Tafriu, tafriu, you are disturbing. As in, why are you disturbing the people from their work? Which connotes nullification. Paro is also related to parua, which means uncovered, alluding to the idea of revelation. And um, the Pharaoh was about to receive a, re a revelation, right? He's going to, to receive the revelation of the power of God. Okay, next. Now this is a kaf with a chirik and the yud together say e, ki, ki, okay? And this is an aleph with a katef, batak, this is a quick a. And this is a nun with a chirik and the yud together again, this says ni, okay? Ani, and this is the trope mark, um, or accent mark, so it's ani, the accent's on the second syllable. And then we have a he with a chirik, and this says he, and this is a chaf, and the shiva is silent again, so this chaf is going to close out the syllable, so it's hich, hich, okay? And then we have a bet with a patach, and this dalet will close out this syllable, the shiva is silent again, so this is bet patach dalet, so this is bad, this says a, ah, bad. Hich bad. And then we have a tav with a chidik and a yud together. This says e, so this is t. Hich bad t. And this mapach is the accent mark. So the accent mark is on this middle syllable right here. Hich bad t. Okay, so I, I didn't go, go over the definitions here. So this ki means four. Ani means i. And hich bad t. Um, means I will strengthen, okay? Actually, it means I have strengthened. Um, I have strengthened, and then, um, or I will strengthen. But uh, what I wanted to say here is um, this, this root right here, um, is related to the word kavod, which means glory. It literally means something that it, it, it connotes weight. This is also the root for the Hebrew word for liver, which is kaved. So the liver is the most, the weightiest organ, um, so I've read, in, in our body. And someone's glory is what makes them weighty or valuable, right? What is the most important thing about you? What is the most, what is the weightiest thing about your character? So 
when it says here, I will strengthen his heart, it means I will make him strong. I'll make his heart weighty, right? Meaning I will give him courage. So it's not that God made Pharaoh do anything evil. It's that Pharaoh already had this desire to be evil in his heart. And what God did was he strengthened, he gave him courage to do the rebellion that he already had in his heart. Hashem only gave him courage. He made his heart stronger to do what he already wanted. So I thought that was an interesting um, connection between this word and the word glory and also the word liver. Okay. And this is et, sorry, Aleph says et and the tav says t, so this together says et with a sigil. The sigil says e, et. This is just a direct object pointer. And this is a lamed with a chirik. This says li. Li. And this is a bet with a vav with a dot on top, which is a cholem. So this says o. Oh, so this is bo. Li bo. And this means his heart. Now lev means heart. Li bo means his heart. So it's this vav with a dot on top. That part means his. Okay. So now. This chart mark right here is called Gershaim, and it sounds like this. Gershaim. So Ki Ani with Gershaim says, Ki Ani. Okay, and this is a Mapach. So this is Hichbati. And this is a Pashta. So this is Et Libo. Okay, so let's do the trap mark, trap marks over again. This is Gershaim Mapalach Pashta. So this is Kiani Hichbati et Libo. Okay. Next, we have a Vav with a Shiva. This is a quick E, so this is V. And this is an Aleph with a circle. This is E, and this is a Tav. So together this says et, the et. So this just means and, that we don't really translate the et, just the direct object pointer again, but the vav means and, the et, and, and this is a lamed with its sere, with and the vet here, the sere says e, so this is lev. So this is heart, heart, and heart, okay? And this is the ayin, which is um, guttural, but we'll just make it silent, so this is, a chatepa top, which is a quick ah, so this is ah, and this is a vet with a kamat, which just says ba, and this is a dalit with a kamat, so this is da, and this yud is silent, but it but it mean but it it's silent. We don't pronounce it, but this denotes plurality. Okay, so this makes this is servant, but it the, the with the yud here makes it servants with because of this yud, and we're, we are though going to pronounce this bav. So this with the Dalit says Dav. So this is Ava Dav. And this Vav right here means his. Okay. So Ava Dav is his servants. Okay. So this is Munach. And this is Katon. Okay. So this is Munach with Ve'et Lev. Munach with Ve'et Lev says Ve'et lev, and this is katon. So avadav with katon says avadav. So all together, ve'et lev avadav. Okay, next, this is lamed with the shva. This says le. This is a mem with a patak, so, which says ma, and this is an ayn with a patak, and then the noon sofit at the end. So it says an le ma. An. And the trope or accent is on the second syllable over ma. So this is le ma'an. That's how you pronounce it. Le ma'an. This means so that. So that. Okay. Le ma'an. And this is the shin with the chirik. This is she. And this is a tav with the chirik and the yud together say t. Okay. She t. The tevir at the end is the accent for the last syllable. So she t. And that means I can place, okay? So this is a revi'i. Revi'i says revi'i. And this is 
Tevir. So, Lema'an with Revi says, Lema'an. And this is Tevir. So, this is Shiti. Okay, so together, Revi Tevir. So, this is Lema'an. Shiti. Okay, next. And then we have an Aleph with a Cholem, this is O, and then a Tav with a Cholem, which says To, and then a Tav with a Patach, and the Yud together says Tai. Okay, this says A, and then with the Yud, this is Tai. Now, Ot is a sign or a symbol. Otot makes it plural, Otot, plural signs. And then the I here means mine, okay, or of mine, Ototai. These signs are, sorry, not these. It means, ototai means signs of mine. And then we have an aleph with a tzere, uh, which says e, and then a lamed, l, with a sego, which says e, and the he is silent, le. Elle, elle. And the dagesh here actually means to hold the lamed sound a little bit, elle, okay? Um, instead of elle, it's elle. But, you know, a lot of people don't um, pronounce this anymore, so if you don't say it. If you just say ele, it's okay too. But um, ele would be a little bit closer. Um, and ele means these. Okay, ele means these. And then we have a bet with a shiva, which says b. And then we have a, oops, we have a kaf with a chirik, which says ki. And then we have a resh. And this shiva is going to be silent. So this is kir, be kir. Okay, and this is a bet with a cholem and a vav on top, which says bo. So bekir bo. Bekir bo means in his midst. Okay, now the be part right here means in, and the o part at the end means his. So this this part, the kuf resh bet, is the part that means midst. And this is also, it shares the root for korban which means sacrifice, but the root means to draw near. So the nearest you can draw to someone or something, I guess, is to be right in the midst of it, right? So that uh, might be an easy way to remember that. Bekirbo, in his midst. Okay, this is Mercha, and this is Tibcha, and this is Sof Pasuk. Okay, so Mercha with Ototai says, Ototai, ototai, and this is tibcha. So this is elle with tibcha. Says elle, elle. Okay, and this is sof pasuk. So bekir bo with sof pasuk says bekir bo. Okay. So I'll just do the whole pasuk now. It says, Vayomer Adonai el Moshe bo el paro ki ani hichbati et libo vet lev avadav leman shiti ototai elle bekirbo. And that's more or less what how this verse would be choked at on Shabbat at synagogue service during the Torah reading. Okay, let's re review the definitions again, okay? Vayoma, and he, and he said, and this is Adonai, or Hashem, the sacred name. El means to, Moshe is Moses. Bo, come. El, to, paro, pharaoh. Ki, for, ani, I, hichbadi, have strengthened, et libo, his heart. Ve et lev, and the heart, of a dove of his servants, le ma'an, so that shiti I can place ototai my signs, ele these, these signs of mine, bekirbo in his midst. Okay, thank you so much for joining me in this Hebrew class. Um, please go to my website hebrewmime.com 
and subscribe to my email list. You can click here, it says get the weekly videos by email. And um, I'll, try to I'll try to send you the, um, the videos for the weekly tour portion by email. And you can also join my Facebook group if you click on this button. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we have um, on my website, you can also um, do several things. You can learn the Aleph Bet, get the playlist for learning the Aleph Bet. I also have a few um, videos for learning the Jewish, some Jewish prayers and blessings. And um, if you want um, some more thorough, in-depth, um, professional Hebrew lessons from um, a, an Israeli Hebrew speaker, you can sign up for these Hebrew lessons using these buttons right here, okay? And I also have, this is my, these are uh, links to all my videos for my, um, for my free Hebrew lessons. Um, so for example, in Genesis, if you click the first one, the name of Bereshit, it will take you to my playlist for the Torah portion. Okay, and then um, also we have, um, if you click on this right here, it takes you to the Chabad site where um, it has the actual Hebrew verses and also the English that I use in my lessons. All right, and Shabbat Shalom.